All right, this is Walter Hollowell, part eight of the Triumph TR6 race car engine rebuild. The block, the short block is pretty much complete. Uh, rotating assembly is in there. I'm gonna tilt it, the, the front upwards and I'm going to finish lubricating up my racing camshaft. It's a full race grind. Gotta make sure all the lobes are lubricated and the gears too. This is easier to install when the block is in the 90 degree position then it goes right in. It doesn't uh, snag on anything. And my can bearings are already installed. Once that's done, I'll tilt it back horizontal and I'll be putting in these hardened chilled hydraulic lifters that have a hole in them so that excess oil doesn't sit inside the cup and it goes out and it further lubricates the camshaft. These are from Smith Brothers and they're hardened and they're chilled. Then uh, I'll be putting on just a few but not all of my ARP head studs and we're going to take a used but not blown out head gasket for a test fit with my racing cylinder head I'll put on there and then I'll be dropping in first these lifters I'll be putting in place once the camshaft's in there. I'll be putting on the head for a test fit, which I'll take off. And then I'll be taking the, I just use nothing fancy, a pan um, head gasket, take it out of the container, I clean it with mineral spirits both sides because it has a protective film on it. And then I like to spray it with three or four coats of the copper spray gasket and I let this uh, harden like 30 minutes in between each coat then I let it sit for a day and this is the early head gasket um, it's a late model block but um, I've, since I've decked it it acts like an early model block so you need to make sure you get the right uh, head gasket then we'll be putting the push rods in now here's a stock TR6 push rod it's solid and it's an eighth and, an, 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 an eighth and a quarter inch long. And with the stiff racing springs for the valves, it's gonna flex and it's gonna wiggle and it won't last. So I'm using a tubular push rod, shortened a quarter of an inch. These are eight inches long. We're gonna get into this later. And there's some clearance issues we're gonna have to talk about as well. Also, I'll be installing my 1.55 to 1 ratio double roller rockers. I got this from Good Parts. Richard Good, he makes good stuff. The rocker arms, there's roller bearings here, and then there's roller bearings here where it goes on the valve stem. We're going to be getting into that in more detail. This is expensive, but it's worth it, I think, in the long run. So by uh, the next episode, we should be testing and test installing the cylinder head. That's it for part eight. Thank you. Bye.